Hey, my ordinary anglers. Welcome back. We've uh, had a little bit of a space between videos, and I apologize for that. My boat's been in the shop. Uh, there'll be more to come. Fixing to uh, head to Lake Ferguson for my next tournament coming up this weekend. And I got a great thing today for you, uh, an interview with the only woman angler fishing in the NPFL. I had the opportunity to go to Pickwick and do a, an interview with her uh, on this latest tournament. Uh, anyway, like and subscribe. Enjoy the interview with Stephanie Hemphill Pellerin. Thank you very much and there'll be more to come. Here we go. So Stephanie, tell your tell my subscribers who you are and where you're from and how long you've been fishing. Well, my name is Stephanie Hempel Pellard and I'm at MPFL Pro and Opens Pro. Uh, I have been fishing since I was two years old. Uh, I'm 42 years old, so that tells you I'm pretty old school. Grew up with a flat bottom boat. I've been able to back one up and drive one since I was like 12 years old. Could take my own self fishing at 12. Um, and it's just always been a passion of mine. Yeah. And I want to continue to grow, continue to learn, because this sport is forever evolving. And so, you know, so do I have, I have two as well. And who are your sponsors? Uh, Z-Man, 44 Tackle, uh, Joe from Texas.com. Be sure to go look him up. Uh, he actually is trying to find the, a way to figure out uh, about this debt problem that we have in the United States. He is not a politician, but he's trying to help us Americans out. Cool. Uh, Quality Matt, uh, let's see here, FXR, Fishware, Dakota Lithium. Yes, I have to look. This is <laughs> It's all right. Rods. Got, you have plenty of, let's put it like this way. You have plenty of sponsors I and do. you do a wonderful Sunline. job. I mean, yeah. let me tell you, um, the thing about this sport is we cannot do it without our partnerships. Like, even if you only have two fish, it's necessary for you to walk up there and thank everybody that puts you up there on that stage. Because believe me, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be sitting in this boat today. And uh, also, uh, you do promote Bass Hub, right? Yes, I have, well, we, we, we haven't been doing the podcast lately because my house flooded. Right. Um, I actually flooded twice about three months ago, and it's still in limbo, still not fixed. Um, gotcha. So, But we've been on the road a lot. I pretty much fish about 250 days a year, so we're in an Airbnb quite a bit. But it's just been it, really hard to keep it up because, like I said, I fish the Opens, and I'm also fishing the NPFL. I'm extremely busy. I try to pick up other tournaments whenever I can. And, you know, working shows and doing all other kinds of stuff. I mean, this is my job. This is what I do. Right. So, uh, uh, your next uh, NPFL, is that in Michigan? Yes, Saginaw? at Saginaw Bay. I have never been there. Last year at Saginaw Bay, I was having knee surgery. Um, so, I didn't get to go. It looked like I zero, but I didn't even go. So, um, I'm very excited, kind of nervous, because I've never been up there. But, you know what? It's another experience, and all experiences are good, whether they're good or bad. Yeah, and this was only stop three in the N in PFL, so yeah. there's a ways to go. Yeah, there's a ways to go. You know, I started today. Actually, day one, I was in 48, day two, 50. Um, you know, I had almost 14 pounds a day, both days, and then, you know, today, just it just, I got skunked, which, which happens on a, you know, current-based lake like this one. You know, the, the smallmouth move, they're constantly moving based on the current, based on the food, um, and that's just how it is. You gotta evolve with them, you gotta move with them. And, and, yeah. and, and this was like a different kind of tournament because of the time. Yeah, so we started at 10.30 every morning, uh, which is weird because it was already hot as all dickens. And uh, yesterday, I guess I came in yesterday at 6.15 and the day before that at seven o'clock or 7.15. So 
interesting yeah it was very interesting very hard to keep your fish alive but they wanted us to be able to catch good bags so they wanted the current to be moving which to me yeah. was a great decision you know everybody wants to see big bags and see what they can do right and one more thing to everybody out there especially the ladies out there you know when you get a boat and you don't know how to drive it go out and learn in silence let's not post those things because you know we're not weak women aren't weak no nope. you know um get out there learn how to do things it's okay if you don't know everything right now reach out to another lady who does we're always willing to help each other go sign up for a bfl go join a club go do these things by yourself it can be done and you know what we're going to get our butts kicked sometimes, but that's okay because it does bring a, a good character. So when you do have a win or you do have a top 10, it is so much sweeter. So that's what I have to say. That's right. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for uh, giving me that little interview. I You're appreciate welcome. that. You're and welcome. Uh, I'm sure my viewers will enjoy hearing from you. I hope so. You know, and if anybody wants to reach out, any of you ladies want to reach out, kids, especially kids, please reach out to me you know i do guide trips and then i do just take people out fishing sometimes if you want to come learn you want to you know learn how to drive your boat back up the boat you know learn about all kinds of different baits line rod just get just message me and you're mainly around what lake right sam I'm, rayburn i'm mainly around sam rayburn but i'm really not there very much to be honest with you. <laughs> i know <laughs> so you can find me all over the united states <laughs> girl look forward to watching your way in and thank you very much good job i had i ran out how, how many have you got any i only got two uh -huh. i should have had three i had my hands on a about that, four pound small mouth and on a crankbait and i go to do this and I, it had one hook in its front mouth like you like the 360 absolutely love the 360 in situations like here at pickwick you know, rock piles, lay downs, things like that. Uh, you can see it before you ever get to it. You can throw over there, not even have your live turned on right. and be able to be successful. Cool. So, to me, it's a must. So, I'm very proud of my little ones because guess oh. what? I can't touch my butt <laughs> off them. Like, I did, I worked on that. <laughs> I know, I promise. I told you it would be over soon. Ow. Ow. Stop. Large mouth. Yeah. I caught on a crankbait. I haven't caught anything on a crankbait the whole time I was here. Didn't pick up a crankbait until about 4 o'clock. Did and you have to go far? From, from the ramp? No, see, I was never going. You realize I did all that damage. I should have had 17 a day. I was doing all that right across the ramp. Wow. Every day, not moving at all. Right. <laughs> you didn't burn no gas. <laughs> no, today I had to move. Yeah, I understand that. No, I didn't, I didn't have to. Next to the stage, Joe from Texas.com Pro from Village Mills, Texas. How about it for Stephanie Hemphill Pellery? Twenty-seven pounds, six ounces on the first two days. Got two in the bag today. What's up, young lady? Here you go. We're gonna go with a weight, not the Friday she wanted. Four pounds and three ounces. Gonna be a three-day total of thirty-one pounds and nine ounces. Good first day, just kind of tapered off. That's fishing right there. We just gotta get reloaded. Yeah, it is fishing, and the, you know, it doesn't matter really what I have today. I got up here on the stage, and the main reason to get up here is to thank all the people, the good Lord above, that puts me here all my sponsors and most of all my husband how many husbands out there will go all around the united states and follow their wife around and let them live their dream a dedicated one there's not a lot so y'all give him high five there you go put your hands together for stephanie hemphill pellerin right there heading back to texas and ain't getting ready for michigan next gorilla fishing pro from colio